Peace and respect, so respect your neighbor. 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 Come on now. Come on now. Stop judging a book by its cover. Come on now. Come on now. Stop judging a book by its cover. It's bigger than culture. It's bigger than culture. Peace and respect, so respect your neighbor. 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 It's bigger than culture. It's bigger than culture. It's bigger than culture. It's bigger than culture. Peace and respect, so respect your neighbor. Peace and respect, so respect your neighbor. Stop judging the book by its cover. The enemy allow you to believe. The psychiatric thought process allow you to believe to go against your neighbor. It's not too hard to think about it. Stop the violence. Stop the violence. Stop the violence. Stop the violence. Stop the hate crime. Stop the hate crime. Stop the hate crime. Stop the hate crime. Stop judging the book by its cover. Stop judging the book, book, book by its cover. Stop judging the book by its cover. Respect your neighbor. You know, they want you to believe to go against your neighbor. They want you to believe that it's the norm to go against your neighbor. They want you to believe the psychological thought process that something that's being projected on us as individuals, not all, not all are the enemy. But when you know who the enemy is, they want you to go against your neighbor. They want you to be sidetracked and allow you to believe to go against your neighbor. Never judge a book by its cover, especially a person with malicious intentions. A person with no malicious intentions. Especially a person with no malicious intentions. Never judge a book by its cover. Especially a person with no malicious intentions. Malicious intentions like your thought process, loving your freedom. Let alone an innocent soul. It's the thought process for me. How they allow you to believe to go against your neighbor. And you sitting there judging a book by its cover. When you see pointing your finger at the other person, the, the direction is coming from. It's the thought process for me. Be mindful when you're judging a book by its cover. You're only psyching yourself out your thought process because they allow you to believe. To psych yourself out your thought process. When the message gets returned back to sender, devil devil ever go back to sender. Devil devil ever turn back to sender. Devil devil ever turn back to sender. Devil devil not. Today, devil devil return back to cinder. Devil devil not today. Devil devil return back to cinder. Devil devil not today. Devil devil return back to cinder. Devil devil not today. It's the thought process for me. How they allow you to believe to go against your neighbor, sitting there judge a book by its cover, when the fingers should be turned right back on them. It's the mindset for me. Stop the violence, stop the violence, stop the violence. Peace and respect, so respect your neighbor. 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 It's the thought process for me. Love and peace and joy and true happiness. It starts within. It makes it make sense at the end of the day not to go against your neighbor because the enemy allows you to believe to go against your neighbor. When they trying to suck you out your thought process, let alone your freedom in your pockets to manipulate you for something that you truly not. When they're trying to project this mindset at the end of the day, that it's the norm to bother an innocent soul. Innocent soul. <sighs> Never judge a book by its cover. They allow you to believe that it's the norm to go against your neighbor. They allow you to believe that they got the upper hand. It's not too hard to think about it in the day. When you know, you know. Loving yourself and respecting yourself to honor yourself, to value your time, to respect your neighbor and stay in your lane with no malicious intentions. It's the mindset for me. You know, when they installed, no, not they. When God installed these tools within us, self-awareness, self-healing, self-respect, self-peace, self-control, self-discipline, self-confidence, self-care, self-value, self-love, self-worth, self-patience, and healthy boundaries. So you can become your best self-vision of yourself. So you'll be able to understand the definition of never giving up on yourself or never giving up on the thought process at the end of the day. I could become my best self-vision of myself. I can allow myself to understand, to get out of the mindset as the person with malicious intentions. Trying to psych me out my thought process to allow me to believe it's the norm to go against my neighbor. God did not install within us to go against our neighbor. God did not install within us to live in fear. God did not install within us to be discouraged. 
God installed patience within us. God allowed us to see another day for a reason. God was patient with you. Good day, bad day, misunderstanding day. Whatever trauma was in store within you as a child going into your adulthood, dealing with trauma on top of trauma. God was patient with you. And God allowed you to see that you can become your best self vision of yourself. But getting sidetracked by the enemy and, and with the person with malicious intentions to try to psych you out your thought process. To allow you to believe it's the norm to go against your neighbor. To allow you to believe it was the norm to go against your neighbor. To allow you to believe it was the norm to take an innocent soul. That child of God. That child of God. To allow him to believe it's the mindset that it's okay to. Not elevate first. Before you get to an age to actually understand something. To make a decision as to. This is what I choose to do for myself. Protect your energy. Not everybody's having your time. Protect them innocent souls. And I say that respectfully. Stop the violence. Stop, stop the violence. Stop the hate crime. Stop, stop the hate crime. It's the monster for me. Peace and respect. So respect your neighbor. Stop the violence. You know, just because someone gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. Just because someone overlooked you, don't give up on yourself. You can become your best self vision of yourself when you look at your reflection of yourself. When it starts with healing, it starts with you. You can't have one foot in one door, one foot in another door, and wear a mask. It would never make sense. You got to be genuine true to yourself and love yourself enough to understand that I have to have genuine self-awareness. To understand self-love, you have to have awareness within yourself to respect yourself. You can't respect yourself if you don't have awareness within yourself. It would never make sense. Because you don't have awareness as to, I don't know what's going on. How can you respect yourself if you don't have awareness? It would not make sense. When it starts with healing, it starts with you. You got to be genuinely true to yourself. With time comes change, with change comes growth. And understand at the end of the day, being in tune with yourself is the most healthiest thing that you can honestly do. And I say that respectfully. Find a healthy balance within yourself to show for yourself, to respect yourself, and stay in your lane with no illicit intentions instead of being a hate in disguise. Become your best self-vision of yourself. Stop hating on your neighbor because they're trying to become their best self-vision of themselves. It's no, it's no call for it. Like you can become your best self-vision too. Everybody can elevate and become their best self-vision of themselves. It's the mindset for me. But when it starts with healing, you got to mean what you're saying, say what you mean, and be genuine true to yourself. And when you're on God's time, you don't wear a mask. God loves you and God got your back. So when you tell a child of God that God is not working in their favor, you're only playing in your own face. And I say that respectfully. Because that child of God just overcame all that trauma from a child point of view going to their adulthood. And look at them becoming their best self. They just became their best self of themselves. They are the miracle within themselves. They are the blessing in disguise for themselves. Because they believed in themselves and they had faith in they, and they believed in, they believed in themselves because they are the miracle within themselves. <laughs> Protect your energy. God is not for sale. I truly appreciate your time to the genuine ones only. You are genuinely loved by all the right people. You are genuinely respected by all the right people. Hangs are to be treated with respect. 365 days with no malicious intentions of being harmed towards yourself and others around you. It's called respect and stay in your lane. Respect your neighbor with no malicious intentions. Stop judging the book by its cover respectfully. Protect your energy because not everybody's having your time. They would try to play you close and psych you out your thought process, act like they're so in tune with God, and the whole entire time they're trying to psych you out your thought process, loading your freedom in your pockets. Protect your energy because not everybody's having your time. I sweep your time to the genuine only, not your genuine love, respect. Protect your energy because not everybody's having your time. Respect.